Pipeline integrity management is a very serious issue here in the U.S. today. We have over 2.3 million miles of oil and gas pipelines across the nation. And so this study that we worked on is a, an example of a joint academia, industry, and federal government uh, type research with Arizona State University, Pure Technologies from Calgary, Alberta, and the U.S. DOT's Pipeline and Hazardous Material Safety Administration, or PHMSA. The idea for SmartBall came from Pure Technologies' development in the water leak detection market. Since 2006, they have a commercially available tool that can detect leaks in potable water lines. The difference and the challenges that we had to face with oil and gas is that we had to go longer distances, we had uh, higher temperatures within the pipelines, and we had higher pressures within those pipelines. When you look at the context of water, you're only going a few hundred feet in the detection, but for oil and gas, you're going for miles and miles across stations to be able to capture that type of data. Just last year, a PG&E pipeline, a natural gas pipeline in San Bruno, California exploded. And unfortunately, there were six people that were killed, 59 injured, 38 houses were damaged, and another were totally destroyed, and another 70 were damaged. This is a uh, Another reason that we have to look at integrity management and taking a proactive role to assessing our oil and gas pipelines. What makes SmartBall unique is that it's a free swimming acoustic tool, meaning that it actually swims in the pipeline, in any oil and gas pipeline. It floats through it and it can navigate through bends and turns, which is something that conventional tools can't do currently. So what SmartBall does is as it goes through the pipelines, it has acoustic signatures and, and sensors that can detect any kind of leak in those pipelines. And the accuracy is within plus or minus three feet, which is quite incredible when you think about the distances that you're traveling to try to pinpoint a leak. And that's quite well within any kind of tolerance that would be required uh, for leak detection. In terms of the oil pipelines, we can detect leaks as small as 0 0.03 gallons per minute, which once again is phenomenal. And when we look at uh, natural gas, leaks of 0 0.706 cubic feet per minute. And once again, those are very mi minute leaks that this tool is able to uh, detect. So part of the research involved doing some laboratory testing. We had to look and see whether this ball could navigate up inclines and the extent of that. Then we also went and did some field testing where we went onto real sites. Uh, for example, we did a project in Puerto Rico. We did some projects in Texas, some back in Alberta, where we actually forced leaks and put the tool th through, and then we were able to detect exactly where those leaks were and confirm those leaks, which is quite remarkable. And, and so we see this as a very promising technology, and in the context of pipeline integrity management, it's a very important tool for both public safety and also for those pipeline operators uh, from an economic perspective.